assalamu alaikum students today we are going to discuss cytoplasmic organelles and i am dr shafiul zulfikar cytoplasm and its organelle cytoplasm is it is a gelatinous liquid that fills inside of a cell the cellular fluid portion of the cytoplasm in which the particles are dispersed is called cytosol it contains mainly dissolved protein electrolytes and glucose now what are the cytoplasmic organelles so this is the list of the cytoplasmic organelles number one is a mitochondria or mitochondrion then ribosomes endoplasmic reticulum golgi apparatus lysosomes peroxisomes cytoskeleton and centrioles now some of these organelles these are membrane bound they consist of a membrane while some does not have a membrane so what are which one are those which consist of a membrane are mitochondria endoplasmic reticulum golgi apparatus peroxisome and lysosomes they have their membrane and ribosomes cytoskeleton centrioles they do not have membrane so this is very important mcq question so you have to know which membrane which organelle consist of membrane and which does not now let's start with mitochondria so first is the structure of the mitochondria then the function of mitochondria so structure of mitochondria they are rod shaped structure structures bounded by double membrane so rod shaped structures they consist of two membranes an outer membrane and an inner membrane the outer membrane is porous it consists of pores and the inner membrane it is thrown into folds and these folds are called crista so mitochondria consist of double membrane outer membrane inner membrane the outer membrane is porous and the inner membrane is folded and it is the folds are called crista and in between the inner membrane is the matrix as you can see this the structure of the mitochondria this is the outer membrane it is rod shaped organelle this is the outer membrane this one which is fold thrown into fold this is the inner membrane and inside the inner membrane is the matrix now very important thing this blue marks these are the oxidative phosphorylation enzyme present inside the mitochondria or between the inner membrane are the enzymes which provide energy uh, which are involved in the phosphorylation process and these are mostly the atpas these deeply folded inner membrane create large surface area for atp generating chemical reaction so these blue are the areas where uh, enzymes are present which uh, forms atp that is energy very important thing is mitochondria consists of its own dna and ribosomes so they can make some of their proteins when a thing has its own dna it can replicate so mitochondria can replicate it has its own dna hence mitochondria is also called the power house of the cell as most of the energy inside the cell is produced by mitochondria it consists of atp enzymes which produce atp so we call mitochondria as power house of the cell the functions of the mitochondria number 1 as we have called it powerhouse so it synthesizes atp number 1 number 2 it controls level of water and other materials in the cell number 3 it recycles and decomposes protein fat and carbohydrates and forms urea so number 1 is the formation of atp or energy number 2 is it controls the level of water and other materials in the cell and number 3 it c is it recycles and decomposes protein fat and carbohydrate and forms urea now the second organelle is endoplasmic reticulum structure of endoplasmic reticulum it is a large network of membrane okay yeah, this is there is a network of membrane that builds in build cell material it looks like long tubules or bags and it encloses fluid filament this is the structure of endoplasmic reticulum so this is a network of membranes and these membranes are arranged in a form of bags or tubes these membranes are arranged in a form of bags or tubes and what are these small rounded structures which are present here but not here these are these rounded structures are the ribosome so on the basis of ribosomes the endoplasmic reticulum is divided into two types one is the granular endoplasmic reticulum or the rough endoplasmic reticulum if ribosomes are attached on endoplasmic reticulum we call it as granular or rough endoplasmic reticulum and if no ribosomes are attached on the endoplasmic reticulum we call it as a granular or smooth endoplasmic reticulum. ribosome on the basis of ribosome the endoplasmic reticulum is divided into two types one is the granular or rough which consists of ribosome and other is the a granular or smooth which does not consist of ribosomes this is another diagram of the structure of endoplasmic reticulum we said that there are these membranes 
form tubes and these tubes we have given it the name cisterna this these tubes they are called tubular cisterna these are the part of the endoplasmic reticulum now again the types of endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum smooth endoplasmic reticulum or granular endoplasmic reticulum a granular so if the ribosomes are attached it is rough and if no ribosomes are attached we call it smooth. now what are the functions of the ribosome Number one, it is associated with synthesis, storage, and transport of metabolic products. It synthesizes a product, then it stores it, and when the signals come, it transports those products to their uh, destination. Number two, it gives internal support to the colloidal matrix, gives support to the matrix. Number three, it helps in the formation of new cell membrane. And if we uh, see the functions of rough endoplasmic reticulum, because it consists of ribosomes, and you already know ribosomes are concerned with the synthesis of proteins. So rough endoplasmic reticulum, it is concerned with protein synthesis. And smooth endoplasmic reticulum, it is concerned with enzyme and lipid formation. So the function of the ribosomes, number one, associated with synthesis, storage, and transport of substances. Number two, support to the matrix. And number three, helps in the formation of new cell membrane and number four rough endoplasmic reticulum is concerned with protein synthesis smooth endoplasmic reticulum is concerned with lipid and enzyme uh, formation and this point is same the cisterna which i've already told you in the previous slide now the ribosomes what are ribosomes ribosomes are dense spherical granular particles which move freely in the mat they are present in the cytoplasm as well as inside the nucleus ribosomes is made up of numerous proteins called rna ribosomes are made up of rna found either free or bound to the endoplasmic these are dense spherical particles which are present in the cytoplasm as well as nucleus they are made up of rna and they are found free or bound with endoplasmic reticulum. Function of the ribosomes, uh, we all know they play important role in protein synthesis. Also, it helps in the storage, modification, and packaging of products in vesicle. So, they also transport certain substances in the form of vesicles. It involves in the synthesis of lysosomes. So, a cytoplasmic organelle lysosome. It is developed from the ribosome. It is called as assembly line of the cell because they are involved in protein synthesis. So we call them assembly line of the cell. Now Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus, it is an organelle made up of series of membrane sacs. It also consists of membranes, a group of membranes which are arranged in the form of sacs. It consists of smooth flattened cisterns. The membranes are in the form of cistern. They are usually together in parallel rows. The membrane of the Golgi body have connection with the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum. It also transports the product. So when a product is synthesized in the endoplasmic reticulum and when uh, signals come, then these, the product which is uh, formed in the endoplasmic reticulum, it is transported to the Golgi apparatus and finally the Golgi apparatus will deliver that product to its transport site. Small vacuoles or vesicles are always present on either side of the main structure. This is the structural cell of the Golgi apparatus. These are the membrane which are formed in, uh, which are in the form of sacs okay? and we call these sacs as system so this is the transport vesicle of the endoplasmic reticulum it arrives to the golgi apparatus then we have a shipping site for the golgi apparatus when a substance is comes at this point then it forms another vesicle which is a transport vesicle of the Golgi apparatus. Then finally, that product is delivered to its final destination. So this is the structure of the Golgi apparatus. Functions of the Golgi apparatus. It is involved in the synthesis of protein, lipids, and carbohydrate. It helps in the storage, modification, and packaging of protein. And it creates, there is a misspelling, it creates lysosomes. So in the synthesis of protein, lipids, and carbohydrate, in the storage, modification, and packaging of protein, and also in they help in the formation of lysosome now comes the lysosomes so structure of lysosome these are small spherical bodies okay? these are the small spheric bodies bounded by a single membrane they contain digestive enzymes which break all organic material so after shedding from the golgi apparatus lysosomes are developed actually vesicles and inside these vesicles enzymes digestive enzymes are present so these lysosomes are protective they destroy harmful substances function of the lysosomes they act as digestive enzymes of cell hence called as digestive bags they even cause digestion of worn out cells those cells which are no longer useful to our body 
they also or damaged cells they also digest them and can even digest in the entire damaged bags containing them hence called as suicidal bags so these are the lysozymes it can it consists of digestive enzymes and which enzyme is they these are hydrolases you also need to know the name of the enzyme so the enzyme of lysosomes are hydrolases these are digestive enzymes they digest harmful substances also those cells which are damaged or no longer useful for in our body they also digest and the enzymes are lysohydrolases second is the peroxys so they are originated from endoplasmic reticulum so number one they are they originate from the endoplasmic reticulum peroxisomes have the thickest membrane of all the organelles so what is the difference between lysosomes and peroxisomes these both are vesicles number one these both they both are vesicle both have enzymes they both have enzymes in case of lysozyme lysosomes we have hydrolases and in case of peroxisome we have oxidase in case of lysosomes we have hydrolases in case of peroxisome we have oxidase number 3 origin lysosomes are originated from the golgi apparatus while peroxisome originate from the endoplasmic reticulum lysosomes are protective they kill harmful substances or the substances which are no longer important to the our body or which are dead they remove them peroxisome protects cell from toxins especially hydrogen peroxide they convert toxic substances into in toxic form so the difference between lysosomes and peroxisome is very important number 1 the origin lysosomes originate from the golgi apparatus while peroxisome originate from the endoplasmic reticulum lysosomes have hydrolases peroxisomes have oxidases and lysosomes they kill harmful substances such as bacteria viruses also those cells which are dead or no longer useful to our body whereas peroxisome they form toxins they protect cell from toxins especially hydrogen peroxide so a uh, toxic substance is converted into in toxic form non toxic form now centriole centriole it consists of two cylindrical bodies body structure arranged at right angle to one another and this centriole it is made up of micro tubules what are the function of centriole it helps in the formation of spindle fiber during cell division and it helps in separation of chromosome during cell division so these are the centrioles they are formed from micro tubules and what are their function number 1 it helps in formation of spindle fiber during cell division when a cell divides these play role in genetics so when a cell divides they form the spindle fiber and also when chromosome separates during division they helps in separation of chromosomes during division cytoskeleton it is a structure consisting of fibrous proteins that occur in cytoplasm and maintains the shape of the cell cytoskeleton we all call it as the backbone of the Cell. they form the structure of the cell so what are the function number 1 they provide integral strength to the cell then they maintain the shape of the cell then the motility of the cell and then they transduce signals from one cell to another now cytoskeleton filaments they are of three types number 1 are the micro filament number 2 are the micro tubules and number 3 are the intermediate cytoskeleton is divided into three types number 1 micro filament number 2 micro tubules and number 3 intermediate filaments Acti uh, example of micro filament is actin film these are the 7 nanometer in diameter or in thickness then micro tubules these are 25 nanometer and lastly intermediate filaments they are 10 nanometer lastly the nucleus the nucleus is a membrane bound structure that contains the cell's hereditary information and controls the cell growth and reproduction you already know about it it is formerly the most prominent organelle in the cell it is not the part of the cytoplasm but it is a important organelle in the cell the nucleus is surrounded by structure called the nuclear in develop on nuclear membrane this membrane separates the content of nucleus from the cytoplasm the nuclear membrane or nuclear envelope separates cytoplasm from the nucleus the cells chromosome are also housed within the nucleus so it consists of the genetic material that is a chromosome chromosomes contain dna which provides the genetic information necessary for production of the other cell components and for the reproduction of life structure of the nucleus so average diameter of nucleus is 6 micrometer which occupies about 10% of the cell so it consists of a nuclear envelope then a nuclear membrane then nucleolus inside the nucleolus is the chromosomes and the 
matrix the nucleoplasm what is nucleolus the nucleolus takes up around 25% of the volume of nucleus 25% of the volume of the nucleus is nucleolus this structure is made up of proteins and ribonucleic acid that are rna its main function is to rewrite ribosomal rna it is a type of rna okay, ribosomal rna and combine it with protein this results in the formation of incomplete ribosome. So basically, nucleolus, it consists of uh, RNA. So, it is involved in protein synthesis. And this is it. Uh, this was all about the cytoplasmic organelles, which are membrane-bound, which are non-membrane-bound. Then the structure of each of the cell or cytoplasmic organelle and then their function. The very important question is the difference between lysosomes and peroxisomes. So, this is all for today. Thank you.